now since we first showed you how Sergio Barrientos is just one of at least 37 deaths linked to weak rear door latches in Dodge, Plymouth, and Chrysler minivans. When a government investigation confirmed our reports were right, Chrysler headed off a formal recall with a promise. The big automaker would offer stronger latches to any of the four and a half million minivan owners who want one. Maybe you remember all the hoopla back in March and Chrysler's catchy slogan. Your concern is our concern. But now, four months later, the deaths and injuries continue, and Chrysler has yet to make good on its word. We're talking about children and, and, uh, and adult lives here, and this thing has been dragging on long enough. Paul Castus and his wife Sally have found an alternative to waiting around for Chrysler to offer safer latches. They were simply not satisfied with the kind of concern a Chrysler representative expressed to them on the Chrysler minivan hotline. I asked her, what do I do if my children are hurt or killed in an accident and they fly out that tailgate? And she said, sue us. Sue us? That was her exact words. Sue us. In a moment, we'll tell you exactly how the Castus family got Chrysler to buy back their minivan, and they bought a new Ford Windstar. But first, take a look at a pattern of misinformation we've uncovered at Chrysler dealerships all around the country. Loads of new 95s are being sold without the fix Chrysler has promised. And what's worse, the salesmen are claiming there was never any safety concern about the 95s. And they told you there's no problem with the 95? Yeah, it's from 94 on down that they're putting the latches in. So there's nothing wrong with this I'd have to worry about? No. At Teterboro Chrysler in New Jersey, we were wrongly assured the 95s are not included in Chrysler's so-called service program. And in High Point, North Carolina, at Ilderton Chrysler Dodge, we were told the same thing. The recall is only up to 94. And talking with other dealers all around the country, every one of them peddled the same story. But it's just not true. You may remember the government first cut a deal to allow Chrysler to fix all but the 95s, but then we showed how the 95 rear latches were dangerous, too. More government tests confirmed we were right again, and Chrysler offered to fix the 95s as well. I mean, how many people have gone flying out the back? Do you yeah, know? I, I think there were two cases. Two cases? Yeah. Now, most people know car salesmen have a reputation for stretching the truth to make a sale. But our hidden cameras are catching Chrysler salesmen actually shrinking the truth. They, they've made four million minivans. They had about 40 incidents where the back popped open. But neither car salesman is telling it like it is. We've seen the government files. It's not two, and it's not 40. The files contain 207 reports of Chrysler minivan back doors popping open. And 134 times, passengers, many of them children, have flown out the back. The death toll stands at 37. Every one of those four million car owners is stuck with an unsafe car. Suzanne Clark is still amazed at Chrysler. First, she says, the company designed a latch that let go in a minor collision. Her five-year-old son, Alex, was seat belted in the back seat, and both Alex and the seat went flying out the hatch. Fortunately, Alex was not seriously injured, and now, she says, Chrysler has added insult to injury by spreading a story that she and her husband are to blame. Even here at the dealership where she bought her minivan, Listen to this. And what they did was they took the back seat out, and when they put the back seat back in, they didn't install it properly. They're lying. They know they're lying. I have told them the truth. Why don't you have your salesman here? Well, how do we know that's not the truth? Well, she's your customer. You got her phone number. Why don't you go in there and call her? If you think I'm telling you a story. I don't need to call her. You don't need to call her. You don't need to call her because you know that nobody from her family ever told you that story. Well, that's true. That's true. Now, remember, we've repeatedly caught Chrysler people telling the same story on the minivan hotline. And now, after Suzanne Clark has told them repeatedly to stop lying about her, we're catching Chrysler dealers all over, still spreading the same story. And Chrysler says when they investigated that case, that that seat was never hooked up. Chrysler said that? That's correct. Who told you that? Chrysler. We drove around with it for three months and never had the slightest problem with it. The, um... You know, investigating engineer from the transportation department told us that the physical evidence indicated that it was latched in securely. And, you know, but it, given all that, it is a lie. They are lying. It doesn't matter. 
the door shouldn't have come open. Suzanne is also plenty hot at government regulators who are supposed to protect consumers from dangers like this. By making a deal with Chrysler and backing off a formal recall, she says Dr. Ricardo Martinez and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration are allowing the company to mislead consumers about the seriousness of the risk. Martinez is still refusing to explain his decision. Well, as I told you before, Steve, is that we will have this discussion at the appropriate time and place. While we're still waiting for that discussion with Martinez, his agency is apparently running out of patience with Chrysler, which has yet to even submit plans for the new latches. A recent government letter warned failure to respond promptly may be construed as a violation of the law. Chrysler blames the delay on redesign and production retooling, but now promises to begin notifying owners in September about when the latches will be available. Meanwhile, auto safety consultant Ralph Hoare says he's tired of waiting for the government to release videotape crash tests it conducted. They reportedly confirm the dangers of Chrysler latches. We're told that these are medium to low speed side impact crash tests uh, in which the Chrysler minivan is the only van in which the hatch pops open and dummies uh, fall out of the rear of the minivan. Suzanne Clark and the mother of two other latch victims have joined Hoare in a lawsuit to force the government to release those videotape tests. You know, we as taxpayers paid for that investigation. Um, I want to know what they found. They are not releasing their investigation results. They have shared those results with Chrysler. I want to see them. I paid for them. I want to see them. Well, now back to Paul Castus. Just what did he do when he got fed up waiting for Chrysler to offer a stronger latch? In the state of Florida, I can file suit under the Florida Lemon Law, and that's what I decided to do. He notified Chrysler he was planning to introduce lots of evidence from government files and from Inside Edition. He also planned to question Chrysler's top safety executives, too. That was the last I heard from them until I received uh, a telephone call telling me that they were going to buy it back that easy. That basically was it. A few weeks later, Castus exchanged his Chrysler minivan for a check and this letter. And this was highlighted as well as noted with a star. Lastly, this vehicle was repurchased due to rear door latch, period. Now, Castus isn't the only one using this strategy. Across the country, Gloria Mendoza is using the lemon law in her state of California to try and force Chrysler to buy back her minivan. I'm afraid to drive it. I'm afraid to put my kids in there or anybody else's, and I was carpooling, and I've had to stop that. There's no way I'll put anybody else's kids, you know, in that van. Gloria received a setback earlier this week when an arbitration board ruled her latch concerns are not reflective of a manufacturing defect. Her next step could be a stop in a California courtroom. Why can't you just be patient? No, no because to me, they have manufactured a very poor latch. I want it fixed now. Now, following our initial stories, Chrysler's adopted a policy of refusing to speak with Inside Edition. The replacement latch program, by the way, is expected to cost Chrysler more than $200 million. And the company is now telling the government that it could be fall of next year, September 1996, before safer latches are available to everyone.